Okay, we're now going for our second uh, Annie Laurie mystery cache and uh, see if we can't track this down and find out what happened. This one should be interesting. It's out on a bridge over the river. Come on along. Should be fun. My phone I'm going I've walked 160 feet and it just slowly caught up with me okay perfect yay found it okay so it looks like we have tracked this one down you are standing on a formal former central of Georgia Railway swing bridge that once rotated on a central pier and allowed steamboats to pass one such steamboat, the Dixie, made frequent voyages from Alabama or Mobile, Alabama to Rome in the late 1800s. John Smith, the Dixie pilot, Dixie's pilot, and Annie Laurie would walk out on the bridge late at night when the trains were not running. Dixie, the Dixie would be docked across the river at the foot of Myrtle Hill. Here they would often stand quietly gazing at the moon reflecting it in the rivers while contemplating their future. Though the ring he had commissioned was not quite ready, John proposed to Annie at this spot when they learned that her parents planned to move to Atlanta and they would never see each other again. This, the very next night, the Dixie caught fire, exploded and sank across from, from Coosa River. To learn more of the mystery of Annie Laurie, proceed to these coordinates. Okay, let's see what else we can do. That John Smith intended for Annie Laurie. Learning that her parents had plans to move away from Rome and the rivers, John hastily proposed to Annie and they were and they made their plans to leave the Dixie River boat the next night. John was to come home to come to Hoyt House late at night and escort Annie Laurie to the boat. However, the Dixie, an old steamboat with rusty boiler, caught on fire just as John was leaving for Annie Laurie's house. Seeing the boat on fire, John rushed back aboard in order to help others trapped in the flames. The boiler exploded in a massive fireball and the Dixie quickly uh, sank into the river. With no one left to claim for the paid engagement ring, it has been in display in this jewelry store since 1891. Very nice. Now, let's see if we can get this one open. Hmm, what do you think it's gonna take? 